ready to introduce Mayank Jog from Bioengineering, who's going to tell us about imaging electrical current. Okay, let's get it started then. Uh, thank you for the introduction. I'm going to be talking about imaging electric currents. Why image electric currents? Well, so during the last decade, tiny electric currents have been found to be therapeutic for patients suffering from depression, chronic pain, drug cravings, Parkinson's disease, among others. This technique is known as transcranial direct current stimulation, and I'd like to draw your attention to its abbreviation, TDCS, which I'll be using frequently. So a typical TDCS setup, shown here on the left, uses a nine volt battery together with a pair of sponges placed on the head to deliver a tiny electric current through the brain. So this technique is non-invasive, seems to work for many clinical applications, and has grown exponentially, as shown in the middle figure. So in 2015, a clinical TDCS paper was published every other day. But we don't know how this works. And this is really frustrating because TDCS could be the magic bullet for brain disorders. So we know it works, but we don't know how it works. And one way to understand how TDCS works would be to photograph the TDCS electric currents in the brain. This has never been done before, and that's why I'm really excited to talk to you about my research on imaging electric currents. So how is this done? So just like a pebble in water creates ripples, electric current creates magnetic ripples. So in the top figure here, if we can figure out the source of the ripples, we'd know where the pebble is. Similarly, in the bottom figure, if we can figure out the source of the magnetic ripples, shown here by the blue color abruptly changing to red, we'd know where the electric current is. So visualizing TDCS electric currents in the brain using magnetic ripples is my contribution to the TDCS field. And you can see it in action in the figure on the top left. So going forward, I want to use electricity imaging to photograph where in the brain do the TDCS currents go. This information can be used to figure out which TDCS setup is safer and more effective, for instance, between the two setups shown on the top right. In this way, I want to use electricity imaging to determine the safest and most effective setups and thus help this nine volt battery powered non-invasive TDCS shown here on the left mature into a viable, low cost and high impact clinical treatment. Thank you for your attention. 